we are trying to test whether students have understood the concept of perimeter or not. We believe that class 6 students should know the concept of perimeter and this is what the question is trying to test, whether they know what perimeter is and whether they are able to compute it properly. Yeah. perimeter with area and since they know that area always decreases when a part of a figure is removed, they say that perimeter will also de decrease and hence they give a wrong answer which is 60. They simply compute 80 minus 20 is equal to 60 and give the wrong answer 60. Okay. Can you tell me what perimeter means? The, the length of the border of the figure. Length of the border. Yes. Okay. So what do you think the length of the border is in the triangle right now? So now you have cut off a square. What is the perimeter of this? How do you know that? Sir, because the perimeter is cut from me. Okay. Based on the student interviews that we have done, we have realized that students know how to calculate the perimeter. They know the formula of perimeter and think that perimeter is something abstract which is just numbers. They know that perimeter is the sum of the length of the border and they also know that each side has a length and each side is a number. So they know that perimeter is something which is related to a number. But when the shape is manipulated, like for example in this case when the shape was cut, they were not able to uh, reason it out properly. Why? Because they were thinking of perimeter as just a number and so they were subtracting it from the total perimeter. But an interesting case is a group of students who know what perimeter is, who also know how to compute it. But since they strongly believe that when a part is removed from a figure, the perimeter will decrease, they tend to compute it incorrectly. So they know the perimeter is total perimeter is 80, and since they are removing a square, they come they know this a perimeter of the square is 20, each side is 5 cm. So three sides have been added. Though three sides have been added, they try to subtract it because they believe that a part is removed and they'll have to subtract it. And so they end up 80 minus 5, 5, 5, 15, which is 65. Sir, I because I, I subtracted the, those three sides okay. from the whole uh, perimeter of the triangle, uh -huh. like 80 centimeter. Mm -hmm. So I subtracted 5, 5, 5. Okay. And my answer came 65. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why did you subtract 5, 5, 5? So uh, either because it's cut off from the... Okay. So, so it's cut off what? from it and so it has to be removed. But why didn't you subtract 20 then? So one of the ways to clear such kind of misconceptions is to get the students think of a real life problem and connect it with to the related concept. What we did in this case is we made the students to think the triangle as, a, as an island and we also asked them to imagine a goat walking around the triangular island and we asked them to figure out in which case would the goat have to walk around the island more. So this is what the students think. Imagine this is an island. Okay. And this is the sea around it. I have a goat with me. The goat starts walking from here. It walks along the border, the whole island. It starts here and it comes back here. How much does it walk? 80? Okay, now something happened. Earthquake, tsunami. This thing got cut off. Now tell me how much the goat will walk? 65 will walk? Can you be the goat like this and... Okay, I can't lift you. Tell me, just imagine the goat walking. Louder. So it will walk less now because it is cut off? Or it will walk more? Does the goat have to walk less or more? More. And it will be more. So, more will be... Okay.
Yes, Shabari. Now, uh, when we discussed this some time back, you were saying the answer is 65. Correct? What was going on in your mind? Why did you say it was 65? Sir, uh, because that time, sir, uh, as you gave the example of the board, uh, my thought changed because the board has to work more now. Okay, and how did you get 65 at that time? Sir, because I was such a big person trying to solve.